My name is Dr. Christian Spross. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in the Department of Orthopedics and Traumatology in St. Gall Hospital in the eastern part of Switzerland. I'm talking to you about my recently published paper on outcomes of management of proximal humerus fractures with patient-specific evidence-based treatment algorithms. My colleagues and I, we wanted to create a comprehensive treatment strategy for our patients with proximal humerus fractures by implementing the so far available fragmented evidence in the literature of this topic. The aim was to treat the patients as individual as possible with the main focus on their demands rather than their fracture type or any, or any specific implant. Like this, we wanted to bring our patients back to their quality of life they had before the fracture using the whole spectrum of treatment from conservative to osteosynthesis to arthroplasty. This led us to create a treatment algorithm which we are using prospectively in our clinic for our patients with proximal humerus fractures. We started with it in 2014, improved it after two years of clinical experience and are still using it in our daily practice now. Analyzing the results of our patients who were treated according to this algorithm, it was surprising how high the overall satisfaction rate and the shoulder function was one year after the treatment. Especially as we treated nearly 70% of our patients conservatively. The key to this success seemed to be the patient-specific approach, choosing the right patient for the right treatment from conservative to osteosynthesis to arthroplasty. For example, osteosynthesis was mainly reserved for high demand patients with displaced fractures and good bone quality regardless their age. On the other hand, for patients with low bone quality, the threshold was lower to treat them conservatively or with primary uh, reverse shoulder arthroplasty. After more than seven years of experience with this patient-specific treatment algorithm for proximal humerus fractures, we are convinced that it has improved our quality of treatment. Therefore, we would like to encourage other clinicians to use such a comprehensive approach as well. Especially patients' demands and their bone quality seem to be important factors for choosing the right treatment for their proximal humerus fracture. With this study, we could prove that the concept of patient-specific treatment for proximal humerus fracture is successful. In the future, we would like to focus more on the treatment subgroups with, more, with higher numbers, allowing uh, uh, for a more detailed statistical analysis for more helpful information to hopefully further improve the treatment of patients with proximal humerus fractures.